Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Anime Over Analyst here, and today I have a different video for you guys. Today I wanted to rank my favorite, I suppose, my favorite Black Clover openings. Now, like almost every single Black Clover opening, I mean, I love all of them, so it's really kind of hard to do a ranking per se. So the way I've structured it, this is in tier list format, but it's not your typical tier list, as you can see. Instead of going S, A, B, C, whatnot, I decided to go based off of just kind of what I think both, uh, both illustrates the song, the um, openings themselves. So I've got absolute banger. The this tier is like. Peak perfection. It is the top. This is literally like the S tier of Black Clover openings. And keep in mind, these are all Black Clover openings, and I'm comparing them to each other. I'm not comparing them to other openings from other anime, because I think every single one of these Black Clover openings pretty much far surpasses the majority of anime openings. They're all so good. And so, like I said, I've got Absolute Banger, then I've got, it's an amazing song, and it has amazing visuals. This is, like, just barely. It's, just, it's like, just barely not perfect, but it's good enough. It's really up there. Then I've got good song and amazing visuals, which just kind of means that the visuals far surpass this music itself. And then I've also got the flip side, where amazing song, but the visuals could be a little bit better. And then my final tier is Forgettable. And this tier just pretty much means that compared to all the other songs, these songs I tend to forget exist. Mainly because the majority of the other songs are just so hype that, like, there's just a couple that I completely forgot they exist. And like I said, it's nothing bad at all. It's just, like I said, they I completely forget that they exist. So, to start things off, I'm just going to... I'm not going to go with the... Yeah, I'm not going to go with the ones that say OP1 over the top. I'm going to go with just the plain. This is just the tier maker that somebody made. So, right off the bat, OP1. I'm not going to try and pronounce any of the names, but... Oh, well. <laughs> So, OP1. So, funny enough, this first OP, I wouldn't have put it in absolute banger when I first started watching the series. In fact, I thought it was kind of mid-tier. I thought it was okay when I first started it. But then, I just kind of started hearing it over and over again. I kind of started uh, looking at the visuals more. I was like, holy crap. Then, after the demon arc... Where, you know, Asta and Yuno kind of develop their powers and they take on the demon after the uh, uh, after the Eye of the Midnight Suns. I went back and started going through some of the OPs and I noticed so many references and foreshadowing in this opening that just astounded me. And so I started making that video series you know the breakdowns of each openings and unfortunately that series isn't doing too well on youtube which is fine most of my stuff on youtube doesn't do too well but i do it regardless so yes this this one is the one that kind of kicked off that series and actually kind of helped me realize all the kind of foreshadowing that goes on in these ops some of them, they're not so obvious, like just the way light is portrayed in some of the OPs, how color is portrayed in some of the OPs is really quite fascinating. And so, yes, this I'm definitely giving this the S tier absolute banger just because of how it got me into really looking at these Black Clover openings. Okay, so number two is this one and it is going under good song but amazing visuals so yeah the song is all right it's one of those songs that i can't really think off the top of my head 
But the second that I, you know, listen to it, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's that song. Duh. So you'd think it would go under forgettable. But some of the visuals of this song is actually really quite amazing. They've got, uh, they kind of contrast some of the red and uh, blue in this song in the, in the openings. And it showcases uh, Asta, you know, versus Mars, which is really, really cool. So, yeah, like I said, it's a good song, but I really like just kind of the how they really tackled the visuals in this one. All right. So the next one. And if you keep wondering why I keep glancing over to my left, I've got the complete tier list on my other screen. So I know you know, what I'm basing everything off of. This isn't just me going off the top of my head, for the most part. I mean, I'm giving my reasonings off the top of my head, but I kind of pre-planned where everything goes. So, number three is Black Rover. And it's going... Controversial take here. It's... Not quite up top. So, yes. of There's like two, three, maybe four big, big Black Clover openings that people just absolutely love. And it's usually this one is compared to OP-10. Now, I'll tell you my, my feelings on OP-10, but if you followed the breakdowns at all, you'll kind of know where I sit with OP-10. This OP, Opening 3, has it has a really fantastic song. I'm not going to lie, the song is pretty good. It's just not the best song in the world, honestly. Like, I just, I, I, honestly, like, I never really understood the major hype around the song. It's a good song. It's a really, really good song. I just don't find it hype. And the visuals, for the most part, are pretty much okay. Except for this one scene where it's like a 10 second scene of everyone going crazy inside of the inside of the, uh, you know, the guild, the Black Bulls guild house. And because you see like Magna and Luck fighting uh, Finroll pumps in or jumps in and Asta's choking on some food. So Noel and Charmy try to save him. And this is all happening at once. And it's really just 10 seconds of just pure chaos and beautiful animations. Like, I, I just love the fact that it looked so difficult to animate because they have so many moving parts. This little concealed scene, which is, it was just really fantastic. And I think that's kind of something that they kind of tried to have further on, but they just never really quite captured it. And... I think just that scene really showcased the chaos and the like the quirkiness of the Black Bulls. So that's where I'm going with that one. Amazing song, amazing visuals, but just not quite peak perfection. All right. So next one is this one. And you're probably going to really hate me after that last take, but it's going to be... Right here under Absolute Banger. In fact, I'm going to even put it in front of the first OP. I love OP4. OP4, Guess Who's Back, is one of my favorites. In fact, it was the it was actually my first favorite of the OPs. Like, I was so excited when I was first watching Black Clover whenever this OP came on. And... I love the water effects that they have in this OP. You can kind of see it with Noel here a little bit here to the left, but they do such a fantastic job with water effects here. It's just so stunning. And I love the song. They managed to really connect the song and the visuals together in such a beautiful way. And this is when they started really, really going hard on like the 3D aspects of these openings. This is where they really started to use CGI to its fullest extent, and it just makes the openings so beautiful. Like, really, this is pretty much the first one where you get to start to see like the three the three D. Like, there's a there's a shot of 
uh, Magna and Luck, they're both uh, using their combined attack that, that they used against uh, Vado. And it's just, it's so stunning. I really, really like that. And so, yeah, it's going to be, it's re really, uh, on my personal list, it is up there. It was like the first Black Clover song that I looked up on Spotify. It, that's how much I loved it. All right. Next one, number five, is forgettable. It's forgettable. This number five is one of those where I can never remember it exists. Like, I've I've seen all the openings hundreds of times now, and I could still never remember which song this one is. Honestly, like, and that's kind of sad. And what's also really sad is that OP6 also falls into this line. There's kind of like a dead spot where uh, after, well, I won't say after. These are both, uh, they take place kind of during the uh, arc, the Vanessa arc, when she's in the Witch's Forest. And what looking at the visuals is stunning like they've got really good visuals i just can't remember these ops to save my life neither of them i'm like you know the second i hear the songs i'll be like oh yeah that's a black clover opening like i can pinpoint the songs and i love the songs but i just don't know the order that these are in they, these are just kind of like they're there and that's it you know they're not they're not the ones that I'll go crazy over. They're just they're just there. All right, next is number seven. We're kind of trucking along with this. All right, number seven. You ready for another quick hot take? Maybe maybe it's a hot take. Right there. That's right. I love seven. This is the one where Ost. This is the training arc, mind you. This is the one where Asta walks forward and you can see shadows pass across his face as he's walking towards the camera. And it's such a catchy song that you start listening to. And, like, this picture actually kind of shows it off. Um, it's the one where we start to see Gray and Gordon actually yell. These are the two quietest characters of the entire series. And so kind of seeing them yell with this song was just so fantastic. And there's so many foreshadowing in the in the opening. There's so much foreshadowing with the Eye of the Midnight Sun going on. Like there's there's a quick scene where uh there's the Golden Dawn and with Mimosa and the entire Golden Dawn suddenly goes dark where it's like someone turned off a light except for a single spotlight around Mimosa. And that's kind of in reference to everyone in the Golden Dawn turning into elves and trying to take over the kingdom. While Mimosa, even though she is a member of the Golden Dawn, she never turns into an elf. And I don't know if they explicitly say this, but my theory is that the reason why she was she joined the Golden Dawn was because uh, William Vengeance slash Potri, mainly Potri, wanted to keep an eye on her because she's royal. Uh, she's actually a direct descendant of uh, Lick's wife, whose name I'm blanking. So she's like a cut, like a grand cousin or something to her. So she she's related to the first wizard king to get things into his perspective. So Patry mainly just wanted to keep an eye on her is my presumption. Now, the uh her her cousin uh I think it's Vish or Vosh, um is vice captain of the Coral Peacocks, but I think that he's not nearly as related to the first batch of king as she is, um because she literally looks like Lick's wife, literally like it looks like the first batch of kings uh, wizard king's sister, so I think that's why. She, she was kept in the uh, Golden Dawn. Anyways, side rant aside, I love this opening. It's actually my the second song that I just fell in love with. 
So af after Guess Who's Back, had kind of had a couple that was like, okay, they were pretty good. And then this one came out, and I was like, holy crap, can Black Clover get any better than this? They're going to find out they can get better than this. All right. Next is... See, now that was seven, so I think we're on to eight. All right. Eight. Amazing song. Amazing visuals. So, yeah, this this one is it's a really good song. For some reason, I'm kind of blanking on my reasoning for putting it here, besides the fact that it was just really, really good. Man, why am I blanking on this? Wow. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm blanking on my reason, my complete reasoning for this, besides the fact that when I made this tier list and I was listening to the songs, I was like, man, I really like this song. And now I'm completely blanking on my reasoning, so I might actually end up going into forgettable. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep it there for now, and if I remember, remember it, I'll come back to it. All right, next is nine. That is this one. All right. This one's going to amazing song, good visuals. So I I'm also forgetting what what my reasoning for this one is because I think it's actually goes into good song amazing visuals because I believe I actually don't like the song too much for this one. Yes. Yes, yes. I don't like the song too much for this one. You know what? I'm going to keep it back to Amazing Song Good Visuals. Because I might be thinking of a different one. Wow. So it turns out from between 7 and 10. The, the two songs. Okay, so to kind of give you a general gist of the openings. So there's one that's purely focused on the kind of like the elf the elves of the midnight sun and that song is weird and i believe that's this number or number nine one so it's got a very weird song to it which is why i'm kind of debating on why i have it under amazing song good visuals whatever um it's there i don't even know my own tier list you see how professional i am so I honestly, I think I originally ranked these under S A B C, and then I changed it. I think that's what I was do. I did, and then I never rechanged it. So it is what it is. Who cares? I made my own list. In which case, now that I think about that, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to do, and then I'm gonna move the other one to forgettable. So, and I'll probably even delete this at the end. We'll see. So. Yeah, that's 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 how it's going to go for now. Yes, I make my own rules. No, I do not care. All right, so next is are we on ten? I think we are on ten. That makes me super excited. Ten, come on, get up there. I love OP10. OP10 is... It was my favorite for the longest time. And you'll see now what my what my favorite is. If you follow me on Twitter, you want to know. So, OP10 was literally my favorite so much because it starts off with a slow piano and you kind of see just a dark, a black, you know... It's dark, it's raining, and you kind of just see Asta walking. And in this opening, it's all in black and white. It's all it's completely black and white. We've got this just wonderful rain effects. And then at, the songs picks up, and just everything starts going a little bit crazy. We start introducing the devil, and you can see the, the only color is the red of his eyes. And then we get introduced to Sacre. Who at the at first I didn't know who she was because they didn't introduce her until like a couple more episodes in, but Sekre, who was originally Nero, I guess spoiler alert, 
except for the fact that you probably would have known that already. Anyways, um, Secre is she? Well, she's my favorite female character in this entire show, next to Mario Mario Leona. I love Secre's backstory, and in this opening, it really illustrated just kind of the depression she feels. You know, the darkness, the whole like. Uh, just just her how you know depressed she is for having to wait hundreds of years to wait for her the first wizard king to come back i believe it was actually just a hundred years but still stupidly long amount of time and how she you know she was kind of trapped as a bird and then she she's back into the real world and she's alone and the opening ends with like big doors opening up and behind the doors is a world of color and you can you can see everyone it, it shows uh licks and the first wizard king standing by the door motioning her to walk through it and they're they're coming into color really representing just kind of the hope to that they want to instill into her just be like hey you've got a future we may be passing on to the next life, but you have a future. Make it, you know, go on and live. And I, that that opening tells such a wonderful story. I think it's underrated in that aspect because I don't see anyone ever talking about the story that this opening t illustrates. It is so good, and I love this song as well. It's just so amazing. I It's at almost one of... Story-wise, I think it tells the best story out of all the openings. It, yeah. All right. Next one is... Number 11. Amazing song, amazing visuals. Ju just underneath Absolute Banger. I love OP11. It starts off with Asta on top of a lake, and there the the entire camera just swirls around him. There's rainbow colors on top of the lake, and it looks so effortless. It's so amazingly beautiful that that first intro. The only thing kind of bringing it down is that the song is decent. It's actually really good. It's a good song. It's just kind of forgettable after what number 10 brought. And it may may also just be the problem that the show went into filler arc at this point. And they actually had like two straight filler arcs. So like this song, like the visuals are just so amazing. And I think the only thing that kind of brought him down is that there's a kind of a scene where the Wizard King sees... uh like the city in ruins and it looks a little bit clunky it's kind of like literally that that little scene it, it's it's almost like they had like four layers of rubbles and they just kind of moved it back and forth like a almost like a play i suppose like it it's looking at it i was like okay this is kind of weird Everything else with the way they transition the camera like literally how they transition the camera in the beginning how it panned through the map, the end, the beginning map, and you can you saw the map go into layers. So beautiful, so amazing. So yes, it's just falling short of that kind of perfect mark in my mind. All right, next is this one, and it's going into absolute banger. Of course, it is. So this is op twelve. And this is the one where Asta starts off doing push-ups. And the grass is amazing. The CGI in this in this opening is amazing. And uh, I just love this. Like in the in the way of like foreshadowing and whatnot, it's it doesn't have very much in the way of foreshadowing and symbolism. It just looks cool and it sounds amazing. Like that's in that aspect, I like it. I just no, it's just a great song to just vibe out to. And I'm constantly like just listening to it on every time I hear it, I just get so pumped up. So yes, 
definitely, definitely, definitely one of my favorites. And then, looks like we are on the final opening of the main one. And yes, come on, it is my favorite. And I only made this decision last week. So, I didn't originally catch on to this song. It was one of those where... I saw the intro before I caught up to where the manga was. And so Asta starts walking through this doorway in this kind of red candle. I'm like, Asta looks weird because he he really got buffed. He he got wider. He got a lot wider. You know, er, earlier he's more lean. Like you can kind of see in opening 12 here, he's ripped, but he's more lean. And... And in this one, he just, it, it was like he added an extra, like, foot on each side of his waist. Like, it was kind of weird. But after reading reading the manga and actually watching the anime, it I got used to it. So, yes. At first, I was like, it's weird. And then I kept watching the opening. And I'm like, holy crap, the visuals are just stunning. Like, it took me a second to realize how hard it would have been to animate every single one of those candles in just that first opening shot. And how they had the camera, the camera made it made it look to like it was actually rising from the floor, which is so amazing. Now that I had, like, really sat there and thought about it, I was like, that, that took a lot of effort. Because they're making the camera rise while Asta is walking towards it. And you can... It's you can kind of see like just how much dedication the team had in making this opening, and after a while, like I was just starting to enjoy the music, and I was sitting there, I was like, I've got, I'm vibing out to this music a lot, and like literally, it was about two or three episodes before the final episode, and I was like, okay, that's it, that's it. I, I've got to add this as my favorite song because I just love this song so much. Too bad I can't listen to it on Spotify because the band isn't on Spotify. But such, such a great song. Such a great opening. I I love it. I love it. And just the way they do black and white in this opening is so, so neat. Like... I, how Black Clover deals with light in its opening is so weird and so so fascinating how they do it because I feel like there's a lot of meaning behind what light means in each of the opening. And I, I feel like light could mean hope. The light could be like the future. The light can be like just the good guys or something. Like light could mean a whole lot of things in these openings. And... I feel like some of these openings really showcase that a whole more better than others. For example, the first one showcases it super well. And so, really, really like it. So, yeah. And, of course, I've got this one. I'm going to put it into Forgettable. It's kind of, I think it's the side one where the voice actors of Asta and Yuno sing. And I actually, I think, remember it being like an okay song and okay visuals haven't really looked into it since i first heard it to be honest so yeah it's going to go under a forgettable so i'm going to just kind of quickly look to see is there any of these that i loved the song and i thought the visuals were good and i think I'm thinking it really is this one. Like some of these early ones, I love the songs. Their visuals, I just completely forget about. So, yeah, I think. Okay, this this one's the one that has Noel shooting off the Sea Dragon's Lair, which is also really cool. Yeah, I you know what? I'm gonna put both of these as amazing songs, good visuals because I think that's what's holding them down. Is that I like the songs, I just can't remember their visuals to save my life. 
So, yeah. I think that's going to be it. I'm, I'm sorry that I was kind of mixing around. I thought I had this more planned out than I really did, but... Ah, uh, well. So, yes, this is my official tier list. Is there anything that you think I should change? Tell me down below. What do you disagree with? What do you agree with? Tell me. Maybe we'll start a discussion. I don't know. I ain't perfect. I, I'll claim to not be perfect, but as you can see, like... I got two, four, six, eight that are actually really. I've got six here that I weren't really peak perfection. I got two that was near the top, and then like the rest, almost half of the list of the songs. Actually, there's six here, which is a thirteen total. So you could you could literally say half I considered perfect perfection. I love every single bit of it. So. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's going to be it for me. Yeah, so thank you for checking out the video. I've been the Anime Overanalyst, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.